Hi everybody, welcome back to another Steam Deck video and in this one I wanted to address the issue that I've seen some people comment about which is how can the Steam Deck screen really be any good? How can it really be sharp if it's only 800p? Um, because the Screen Deck screen is sort of 7.4 inches I think on the OLED and it's 1280 by 800 so it's 800p whereas you know generally now your basic computer monitors are 1080p this one can actually go up to 1440p but I've set it for 1080 and many people will also come and say well wait a minute my phone <laughs> does um, 1080p as, as well in fact people often have 1440p phones now which are smaller and so the answer is a combination of things, but we're going to look at in detail at something and we're going to look at pixels per inch in a minute to kind of explain it. But I guess the main one to start off with as well is the quality of the OLED screen is fantastic in terms of how bright the whites are and then how dark, ooh, how dark the, uh, the darks are. Um, because although I haven't put this in HDR mode, the, I guess you'd call it the uh, dynamic range of the OLED screen on the Steam Deck is very, very impressive. And I know you won't really be able to see this on this video, but the dynamic range is better than on my monitor here. So anyway, let's look at the, the other main reason, which is, if I can get this right, if we can switch screens, uh, uh, if we go to here. So what I've done is this little uh, diagram um, and it compares the different resolutions of the screens. Um, and so that was kind of the size of a, st a Steam Deck screen, 1280 by 800, 1920 by 1080. That's kind of the average monitor. 25 by 2560 by 1440 or um, 2K, I think that is. And then four people might have 4K monitors or 4K, 4K TVs. And what happens is, is it's all to do with the pixels. So the little dots that make up your screen. As the uh, screen gets bigger, those dots start to get kind of further apart and bigger. And what happens is if you actually work out the pixels per inch, so if you imagine an inch sort of square, and the number of dots that are inside that inch, actually the Steam Deck has a really high pixels per inch. It has approximately 204 pixels per inch. And if you compare that to the pixels per inch or dots per inch, maybe think about... Um, an old newspaper type, you know, when you would look at it, you could see the dots. The, the uh, 19, uh, 1080p monitor on a 24-inch screen is only 92 ppi. So, in fact, in that case, the Steam Deck actually looks sharper. If we go up to a 2K or a 1440p on a 27-inch screen, it's approximately 109 pixels per inch. So, again, not as, not as sharp as the... Um, Steam Deck and then if you go up to a 4k monitor the PPI is approximately 138 so again not getting up to that so that's that's kind of an answer as to why the Steam Deck screen looks so good um, well you could then say well, that, well how, wait a minute what about my phone that's running 1920 by 1080 on a on a four inch screen or a three inch screen well the answer is yes they, they do look probably better and probably look sharper the panels on some screens but remember they're not designed to run you know, a, a first person game like Cyberpunk for sort of like an hour without melting <laughs> and do it that way. And the other thing to remember as well is, which I haven't really uh, taken into account here, is distance that you're looking at the screen from. So with our Steam Decks, normally, I mean, I know again, this is difficult to show you on this video, but you're normally within arm's length, aren't you, of your Steam Deck when you're playing it in handheld mode, whereas perhaps with your monitor, you're further away. So it's more important for the Steam Deck to have more pixels per inch, to be sharper, because you're physically close to it. Um, whereas with your monitor and definitely with your television, you're sitting further back, so those, further back, so those p pixels per inch don't matter so much. The kind of conclusion, though, to all of this is that, and really you kind of have to trust people if you haven't seen it, is that the screen of the Steam Deck looked very, very good indeed. And I don't really have any problems with it. The only um, times where you get image degradation, and Cyberpunk is probably a, a good example of that, is where you have a very um, complicated game, normally first-person or third-person shooters or adventure games or RPGs, whereby there's an awful lot going on. And if you want to maintain a really, you know, a high FPS, say if I wanted to get Cyberpunk running at 60 frames a second, what I'd have to do is 
dumb down all the settings to low and then use something like uh, the, the built-in FSR on the like ultra performance to, to make it go faster. And then what you would start to see is artifacting around things and things would become sharp. Or if I sharpened it too, would become softer. And if we, or if I sharpened it too stuff too much, you would get um, the appearance of uh, artifacting around things. But overall, in my opinion, after having the Steam Deck for a couple of weeks, is the screen is 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 pretty fantastic. Um, and in this case as well, actually, I've got a 512 gigabyte OLED. Uh, with a glossy screen, but it's got a matte screen protector, which I bought by mistake. But I'm actually quite liking the matte screen protector because a lot of the time when I'm recording these videos for the channel, I've got different lights shining. And if I didn't have a matte screen protector, an anti-glare screen protector, what would happen is um, the um, you would get lots of reflections and, and you wouldn't really be able to see the, the gameplay. So there we go. That is why the Steam Deck screen is nice and sharp, even though it's only... 800p resolution so hopefully you found this video useful if you have it like if you want to see more of the same press subscribe and i will of course see you again soon